If your PS4 Pro giving you this message right here, cannot start a PS4, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Keep watching. You will need a USB drive and plug it to your PC or laptop. Go to the search bar and type my PC. Click on PC and then this is the hard drive. Right click and press on format. Make sure the file system under FAT32 and press on start. Press OK. Format completed. The USB stick has been formatted. Go back to the USB stick and double click and then right click. Go to new and then folder. Name it PS4. Double click again. Right click. New. Folder. And name it update. I'll leave it the way it is for now. Go to Google and type PS4 update and click on the first link. You'll get a page like this from Sony. Scroll all the way down. First option is just to let you update the system. The second option is reinstall the complete software to your PS4. Click on this one. File will be downloaded here. This one roughly takes about 45 seconds. Now the PS4 update file has been downloaded to the computer. We need to transfer it back to the USB drive and then from the USB drive to the PS4. Press on the triangle and show in folder. And here is the software. Right click and press on cut. C close this page. Minimize everything and open the USB stick. Double click PS4, double click update, and then right click and paste. And now the PS4 system update almost done downloading to the USB stick. Once it's done, you should see a file like this PS4 update.pup. And now remove the USB stick from the computer and plug it to the PS4. Make sure you connect your controller through a wire to, to the first USB slot or the second one, doesn't matter. Press the PS button and now you should see a message appears on the PS4 screen. Connect a USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation. Support 9.60 or later. Go to the right and press X. Now you should get a message like that that tells you please wait and the PS4 will be in the safe mode. Now you should still be in the safe mode and then you'll get a message right here PS4 will be initialized. If you're okay with that press on yes. Preparing to update system software. Now the console will shut off and it will turn back on automatically telling you system software update. Please wait. And now you get a screen and installing update please don't shut off the PS4. Wait for it until it goes all the way to 100%. Keep watching. Now the PS4 will restart back again and you'll see the PlayStation logo and the Sony logo. You'll get to this blue screen. All you have to do is press the PS button and select your language. If you want your PS4 fixed, check the link in the bio or the comment below.